13. What are the safe and unsafe methods of HTTP? Answer. Safe methods are those that never modify resources. The only safe methods, from the four listed above, is GET. The others are unsafe, because they may result in a modification of the resources. Question 14. For what purposes POST is used? Answer. POST is used when the processing you wish to happen on the server should be repeated. If the POST request is repeated, that is, they are not idempotent, more on that below. In addition, POST requests should cause processing of the request body as a subordinate of the URL you are posting to. Question 15. Describe the most important HTTP verbs. Answer. If you've ever created HTML forms, you'll be familiar with two of the most important HTTP verbs, GET and POST. But there are far more HTTP verbs available. The most important ones for building RESTful API are GET, POST, PUT and DELETE. Other methods are available, such as HEAD and OPTIONS, but they are more rare. If you want to know about all other HTTP methods, the official source is IETF. Question 16. What are the mean of HTTP verbs? Answer. HTTP verbs tell the server what to do with the data identified by the URL. HTTP verbs tell the server what to do with the data identified by the URL. The request can optionally contain additional information in its body, which might be required to perform the operation. For instance, data you want to store with the resource. You can supply this data in curl with the D option. Question 17. What is the mean of URLs in HTTP? Answer. URLs are how you identify the things that you want to operate on. We say that each URL identifies a resource. These are exactly the same URLs which are assigned to web pages. In fact, a web page is a type of resource. Question 18. From what HTTP messages are made? Answer. HTTP messages are made of a header and a body. The body can often remain empty. It contains data that you want to transmit over the network in order to use it according to the instructions in the header. The header contains metadata, such as encoding information, but, in the case of a request, it also contains the important HTTP methods. In the REST style, you will find that header data is often more significant than the body. Question 19. What is HTTP's URI scheme? Answer. HTTPS is a URI scheme that is, aside from the scheme token, syntactically identical to the HTTP scheme used for normal HTTP connections, but which signals the browser to use an added encryption layer of SSL TLS to protect the traffic. SSL is especially suited for HTTP since it can provide some protection even if only one side of the communication is authenticated. Question 20. What is HTTP session state? Answer. HTTP is a stateless protocol. A stateless protocol does not require the server to retain information or status about each user for the duration of multiple requests. For example, when a web server is required to customize the content of a web page for a user, the web application may have to track the user's progress from page to page. A common solution is the use of HTTP cookies. Other methods include server-side sessions, hidden variables, when the current page is a form, and URL rewriting using URI encoded parameters. Question 21. Explain idempotent methods and web applications. Answer. Methods put and delete are defined to be idempotent, meaning that multiple identical requests should have the same effect as a single request. Methods get, had, options and trace, being prescribed as safe, should also be idempotent, as HTTP is a stateless protocol. Question 22. What is HTTP session? Answer. HTTP session is a sequence of network request response transactions. An HTTP client initiates a request. It establishes a transmission control protocol TCP connection to a particular port on a host, typically port 80. See list of TCP and UDP port numbers. An HTTP server listening on that port waits for a client's request message. Upon receiving the 
request, the server sends back a status line, such as HTTP 1.1200 OK, and a message of its own, the body of which is perhaps the requested resource, an error message, or some other information. Question 23. What is the mean of 404 not found HTTP response codes? Answer. This response indicates that the required resource could not be found. This is generally returned to all requests which point to a URL with no corresponding resource. Question 24. What is the mean of 400 bad request HTTP response codes? Answer. The request was malformed. This happens especially with post and put requests, when the data does not pass validation, or is in the wrong format. Question 25. What is the mean of 201 created HTTP response codes? Answer. This indicates the request was successful and a resource was created. It is used to confirm success of a put or post request.